Hello, today's devotional can be found in Exodus chapter 37, verse 16. He made the vessels which were upon the table. Alright, so here's the thing. God made each and every one of us the way He wants us. We may not understand why we were made the way we were made, but God does. God knows all things. He has a perfect knowledge of all things. He loves us, He cares for us, and He designs everybody in the image of Himself and our Heavenly Mother. We should not be ashamed of how we are made. He made these vessels. We are His vessels. We are His work and His glories. He made bodies to house our spirits that we might have the proper physical experiences needed to become gods and goddesses someday. Even Christ was to have a body and go down to earth and so he did that way we have the atonement he needed to have a broken body and shedding blood that there might be a price paid for the rest of us so that we wouldn't be burdened by our sins so that we could have the experiences that we now are able to have We are put upon the table, we are put upon the earth that we might be able to learn and grow and have wisdom and experience and gain knowledge and apply it. Of course we sin, but that's why we have the atonement. When we sin, we can repent and we should repent. When we struggle, we should not be ashamed of it. Rather embrace it because struggling is part of our mortal experience and we need to find joy in the journey. So that means finding joy even when we struggle. Life is so very short, Satan will do his best to make us feel worthless through various people or different things that he places upon the earth. But we are not worthless. We are children of God first and foremost, and that should keep us going through each and every day. We are made by Heavenly Father. We are of infinite worth, and we need to remember that. We should find joy in how we were made and use that joy to help others appreciate how they were made. Nobody should be ashamed of how they were made. Because that shame will leave us vulnerable to Satan and he will plant ideas in our head. And we will be cut off from the spirit if we accept those ideas. So we need to find joy in how we were made because God knows what he's doing and he knows what's best. And with that said, I love you all so very much. And I say these things humbly in the name of Jesus Christ. Amen.